Okay, in this drawing, we're going to create Emily Carr's Big Raven painting. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna create our borders. And at the half inch mark, I'm just gonna make a dash all the way around. And so we will have eight of these on all of our sides. So this painting will be horizontal. There's two sides, and I'll just go ahead and connect my lines with my pencil. So it'll give us a border to, to tape off. And be the ones at the top now. Inch. Inch. And one more. All right, so done with the ruler. I'm just going to go to my painter's tape or masking tape, whichever one you have. Gonna set this up. Keep it down. On this video and on this drawing, really going to make this very dominant in oil pastel. So watercolor is just kind of a filler for this drawing. One more side. There we go. Now for this drawing, we're gonna take a different approach to drawing the subject matter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide this up into three columns, up and down, and then three rows going across. So you don't necessarily have to measure this out because the measurements on this particular piece of paper are gonna be uh, maybe a little bit odd. So I'm just visually dividing this up into thirds. So even though we're dividing this into thirds, we'll only have two lines. You can see where I started sketching over here. I could tell that the middle is gonna be too big. So I just started sketching lines closer and closer toward the middle to where it looked a little more even. So I found the line that I like, sketch it all the way down, get it going back that way. Same for this one, so that looks more balanced now. And you'll just wanna sketch those lines fairly light because we'll eventually erase them away. They're just kind of a guide. So we're using what is called the rule of thirds. So I have my three going up and down. I now need three going the other way. That's pretty good. Uh, if these are kind of messy, it's all right. Again, we're just gonna erase them up out at some point. Okay, so there I have my rule of thirds and we call the rule of thirds and we use this in photography because we have one, two, three parts, one, two, three parts, which makes up for nine rectangles. So to start the drawing, I'm gonna look at where everything is lining up. 
as far as the subject matter. So in this uh, drawing, we are going to start really right in the middle. And there's this large, large raven sculpture. And I'm going to start by just kind of drawing a line right in the center. And then it's going to curve up. It's not going to touch this line, though. It's almost going to look like a tombstone. It's not going to go all the way over to here, but it's going to fall just a little bit short. So it'll do something like this. Now, this uh, shape that we're drawing, it's not going to have a bottom to it because the bottom is going to be um, covered up with like grass and different things. So this is going to be the base of the sculpture. The next thing I'm going to draw is the raven. So I'm going to start about here. And let's zoom in just a little bit closer so you can see better. So starting about here, I'm just going to create a curved line. And I'm going to take this almost to the halfway point. You know, if we divide this rectangle in half, I want that line to go about to that halfway. So it's just going to create this like nice curving kind of swoop. Made it a little thick. Erase the part I don't need. And then I'm going to make another line that goes across this way. So this is going to be the, the bottom part. It's almost going to look like a, uh, a jaw. It's going to curve up just a little bit. And then from right here, I'm just going to create an angle. So it's almost a 45 degree angle. It did go up pretty high, but I don't want it to touch that line. And I don't want it to touch the tape. I'm going to have it go up about that tall. And then where this line stops, I'm going to curve it over. Off this curved line. And then I'm going to sketch another angled line. It's going to be a little bit shorter. I want this angled line to stop roughly where it kind of lines up with um, where this angle is changing. And then from here, I'm going to create the head. And so it just kind of curves. It's not going to touch our tape. So I'm working with this curve line. And then it's going to curve down and right to where we kind of line up with the jaw area, maybe a little bit below. The curve is going to change. And it's going to then angle out this way. And so if you have this um, triangle type shape with what looks like almost three different length sides, you're in good shape. And then right when I get to this line, I'm going to change my direction and start curving it out. And then this is going to curve. And we're going to have like a little sliver of a triangle kind of in this middle box. So I'm just going to connect it to the wing. And then if I pick back up right here, it's just going to keep going. It's going to start to kind of slowly curve. It's going to kind of hook like that. So just a few more lines left for this Raven sculpture. And we're going to have kind of the other side of the wing that we can't see too well. And so if I look at where I stopped this line, I just kind of sketch down at an angle that's uh, pretty parallel with the jaw. That'll tell me where this is going to start. And it's just going to be this big swooping curve, and it's going to connect right here. So that's the back wing that we can't really see. And then we're going to have a little area for the, the lower part of the uh, bird's torso. So just imagine that this line kind of continues through the tombstone type shape or the base. And then it just kind of picks up and curves and connects to the wing. So 
we don't want this line anymore, so you can erase that out if you'd like. So for the rest of the bird, we need a line to separate the, the mouth or the beak. And so right here, I'm gonna curve it up a little bit and then it's gonna kind of swoop down and roughly to where we kind of have this angle. I'm gonna start to curve this up and then it'll kind of curve down just a little ways. So that line isn't gonna touch the edge of the beak or what looks like a jaw. We have a little bit of space right there. Now for the area of the eye, I'm gonna zoom in just a bit. So this is kind of a, an odd shape. It almost looks like a human eye or it almost looks like a lemon. So starting pretty much like right above where that little point is, I'm gonna curve this up. And then this will curve down and then it'll like kind of curve into that point. So let's get the more in focus. So it almost looks like a, you know, the outline of a human eye, you could see it as like a leaf type shape also. So as far as the, the raven or the bird sculpture goes, that's we're done with that part. Fix the camera. Go. And we're now gonna look at the mountain in the background. So with this mountain, if you look at this line, so we don't want it to touch the line that goes across here, but on this line, if you just make a little curve, it looks like a frowning face. And then if you look over at the side over here, about halfway up the box, maybe a little bit higher, I just made this little dash right here. I'm gonna connect this to that, and it's not gonna be a straight line, it's gonna curve down just slightly. So it's just gonna curve into that line that I drew. And then if you look at the, the base and just kind of find the middle point of the, the line that makes the base, this line is going to curve into that. So it'll kind of swoop into that. And then we'll see a little bit of the mountain over here. So. Again, just kind of imagine this mountain line like kind of continues through our base. And then it's gonna pick up right here. And we'll just kind of stop it right there. So we don't want it to touch this uh, rule of third line. And we can just erase that out. So the next part I'm going to draw, there's what looks like kind of another like rock type sculpture over here uh, next to the wing. And to start this, you know, look at where kind of the middle point of this rectangle is. And we'll start it right there. And I'm just gonna have this go up and the shapes could be just like this. It's just gonna be smaller. And then I'm just gonna curve this around. It's not gonna touch the wing. We're gonna have a little bit of space that separate the two. And then this is just gonna go down like that. And again, we're not gonna have like a bottom to this because it will just get filled up with like plants and flowers and things. Now, one thing that I forgot to draw in this space was it's gonna have a little bit of a curve to it. So if you look at roughly where the middle of the space is, maybe a little bit less. If you just sketch a line that goes straight up, and then it's gonna curve into that curve. And then this one's gonna have a similar thing, except the curves is gonna be a little bit different. So this line is gonna be about here, and then it's gonna curve the opposite way. So that way it shows that these rocks or bases, whatever they originally were, 
path depth to them. And we have our height, width, and then the depth is what goes back. So we're going to stay over here and we're going to zoom in just a little bit. All right, so we are zoomed in. We're going to have a couple trees over here. And with these trees, they're going to go taller than this roll of thirds line. And they're not really going to look like trees so much. You know, if you look at where the bend of this bird's neck to the wing is, you know, it's roughly where we can start these. So this is going to have kind of this like almost like blobby, wavy type shape, and it disappears into the base. There's also what looks like another rock on top of this. Um, and really, I probably drew that a little short. It should go closer to that line, this rule of third line. And then we'll have what looks like kind of another little rock on top, just kind of make that look like a little box. And then we'll have another tree right next to this. So this will be about the same height as this. Another just wavy blobby line. And then it's gonna continue down. It's gonna to touch the bird wing. And then we'll just kind of have it stopped like here. And then we'll have one last tree. It'll just be a, a little bit higher. You know, kind of have like these blobby, wavy shapes. And they'll just disappear behind the bird wing and then it'll just kind of pick up right there. So last thing we really have to do over here is just kind of connect all this together. And in order to do so, what happens is that we're gonna have just these like very kind of rough and kind of zigzagging type lines. And they're gonna just go down and they're gonna cross over this line or touch the line. And then they'll go to the base of the sculpture. So probably went a little too far with that line. So I'll erase that out. And then we'll have some like zigzagging flowers on that side of the base. And so where we're gonna take those. Just gonna start a little bit higher up and just kind of zigzag this way. And then I'm gonna aim for this corner. We're going to zoom back out real quick. All right, so now that we're zoomed out, there's kind of like this sloping bank that happens over here. So it, it looks like maybe there was a river down here at some point. And so if you look at where this inter these intersecting lines are, I'm going to start off just a little bit past that. And I go down, cross this line. And then when I cross this line, I'm just going to slowly curve this down, I may go past this rule of third line, and then just make it run into my tape down at the bottom. And then to finish this side off, and to connect all this stuff, I'm just going to continue the zigzagging line. So basically, it just runs into where we just stopped. And then Kind of picking up back on this line, just right above it, just kind of these light zigzagging marks. This will be grass. So we're just kind of marking it where we'll put it. And I'm just going to go all the way over to the tape line. So we just really have what's left is some areas over here. And so if I start right on this line, so it's right on the tape. I'm just gonna sketch and then it's gonna slowly kind of curve in this direction. I'm gonna get pretty close to the tape line, but I do wanna leave a little bit of space. And then it's gonna curve and kind of swoop up. Not too tall though. 
and they'll curve back down and then it just runs into this uh, line that, like I said, probably was a river at one point. So it looks like it just dried out. So as far as our marks go, that's pretty much it. We can sketch in like other small details like um, over here, there's kind of like some rocks and things it looks like. So to get these, you know, if you look at this line, you know, maybe just a, uh, maybe a fourth of the way up roughly. Yeah, you know, there's kind of this like rocky edge. And then this just kind of continues all pretty close to the tape, but then we're just going to stop it. And then there are some uh, what look like small rocks in this area. So I'm just going to draw these as like squares or you know, kind of misshapen uh, rectangles. Put another one right here. So there's maybe a little one right there also. And then everything else, we're really just going to go through and add our at our colors. So we're going to work with the oil path pastels to kind of pop in all these colors. Now, I'm done with these rule of third lines, so I can erase these away now. So make sure you erase those and not any of the objects or uh, lines that we were drawing. But these are usually pretty easy to keep track of just because they're going straight up and straight down. You know, very few areas in this drawing have that. And if you had any other like little guidelines or marking lines, you know, we don't need those anymore. So you can erase those away. So for example, I had sketched through the, the base just to kind of line things up. And I continue taking away these rule of third lines. Some small ones over here I don't need anymore. Just make sure you get all of those. All right, so there's the, ba the big raven drawing. Uh, in the next video, I will show how to add the color with the, the oil pastels, and then we'll go over it with watercolor. So that is it for this drawing video.